Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we look at how to build a rooftop deck on a shipping container house. Stay tuned as we bring to you the process step by step. Good, welcome back. Building a rooftop deck is a quick and a perfect way to expand the outdoor living and entertainment space in your shipping container home. In addition to improving the value of your home, a well-built deck can create a lasting focal point for beautiful vantage views. If you are planning on building a rooftop deck on your shipping container house, then this video is for you. Without much ado, let's get started. So the first step is to create a deck plan and design. You need to have a properly designed and dimensioned drawing of your deck relevant to the size of the shipping container home you are using. We have different sizes of shipping containers and you can even have multiple containers in different configurations to give you a house design that you want. So of course the standard dimensions or sizes of shipping containers would be a 20 foot shipping container and a 40 foot shipping container. So in this regard you'll have a you can have a maximum of 2.5 meter wide deck by either 6 meters in length or varying up to 12 meters in length depending on the size of shipping container you are using. So once that is in place, the next thing to do is to prep the roof. You need to prepare the roof of your shipping container before you do anything. Since a shipping container is made of steel, you will need to look for a way of anchoring timber onto steel because you can't nail timber through steel Neither can you just screw it onto the shipping container steel walls or roof because you are going to interfere with the water tightness of your shipping container which will bring to you uh, drainage problems. The most ideal thing to do is to weld angled steel brackets on the four corners of the roof of your shipping container to help you hold the timber frame in place. Once the structural reinforcements are in place, clean the roof and sandblast all areas which have any rust on them. Prime the container roof plus the additional steel brackets that you introduce on the four corners and then apply a marine grade epoxy followed by an anti-corrosive metal paint to protect the roof and the steel brackets against any rust rainwater pooling on the roof. With the preparation of the roof behind you, the next step is to build a deck frame. You need to start by installing 4x2 timber cross beams to form a box frame. Check the beam alignment to ensure they are flat and secure it onto the container roof by bolting it onto the angle brackets that were welded at the four corners of your shipping container. The box frame is designed to be loaded at the four corners, hence lifting the weight of the new deck of the non-structural container roof. Remember to apply waterproof and anti-termite protection to all the timber that is used on your shipping container deck. The fourth thing you need to do once the frame is in place is to install the joist. Install all the inner joists to your shipping container deck. Space the inner joists 300 millimeters apart. Attach angle brackets onto the cross beams to help you hold the inner joists in place at 300 millimeters apart. Once this is done, your deck is now ready to be laid. Number five, lay the decking. 
Remember to waterproof the bottom of the decking planks if it is wooden. When you are laying your decking, leave some gaps in between the boards to prevent water from pulling onto the deck during the wet weather. The gap will also help to create space for expansion of the planks without the timber warping. You can use a camo fastener as a spacer between the boards and in addition use hidden fastening system to ensure that there are no nail or screw holes on the face of the decking. Consider using composite decking as an alternative material to conventional timber since composite decking is warm to the feet and also resistant to the toughest weather conditions, which makes it a great low maintenance alternative for rooftop decking. The seventh thing you need to do is to install a ladder or a staircase. You will need to install either a ladder or a staircase to enhance your vertical access to your shipping container decking. A ship's ladder would be a better alternative to a staircase since it is quick to install and it occupies less space. Lastly, you can put a protective railing around your deck. With a ladder and the flooring complete, the only remaining exercise is to secure your deck. Install a protective railing all around the deck for safety. The height and choice of material can be selected based on personal preference or cost. Remember to waterproof all the timber used on the railing. For some charm and beautification, feel free to add some flowers and potted plants onto your deck. Sit and enjoy the view and have some fun. Do you find our presentation informative enough to help you install your own rooftop deck on a shipping container house? Kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like what you see, you can purchase the blueprints for our deck on our website sheltermode.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos on creative design ideas from shipping containers. Remember to click on the bell in order to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.